Hi, it's Katrina. From fish that inspired legends of sea monsters to whales scarred by giant squids, here are 10 of the largest animals that live in the depths of the ocean. Number 10. Giant Isopod These giant crustaceans look a little bit like aliens if you look at them straight in the face. These enormous things look like giant bugs but are related to shrimp and crabs. They are also related to the pill bug, which is why they look like enormous roly-polies. They'll also roll up into a ball if they feel threatened. There are nearly 20 species of giant isopods which hail from the genus Bathynomus and are both the largest member of the isopod family and one of the largest known crustaceans in the world. Bathynomus giganteus is widely considered the world's largest isopod, but it is true that there are other, lesser-known species lurking in the depths of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans that may rival its size. Discovered in 1879, these relatively unknown 14-legged creatures remain largely a mystery to scientists. Researchers do know that giant isopods typically reach up to 14.2 inches from head to tail, with the largest confirmed specimen measuring 2.5 feet long. Their size is caused by a condition known as deep sea gigantism. Dwelling at depths of 1,640 feet or more, these creatures have reached sizes uncharacteristic of their shallow water relatives. The phenomenon of deep sea gigantism, also called abyssal gigantism, is even less understood than the creatures who are known for having it, due to the costliness and difficulty of exploring their deep sea habitats. Scientists believe numerous factors may contribute to this condition, including cold temperature, food scarcity, and having fewer predators. They are carnivores and scavengers, making quick work of any whale carcasses that sink down into the waters below. They aren't picky and will eat until they are stuffed to the brim. They have no idea when their next meal will be, and they can go a few years without eating. Number 9. Humpback Whales Humpback whales can be found in all of the world's oceans, and they have one of the longest migration distances of all living creatures, with some traveling as far as 3,107 miles from tropical breeding areas to cooler feeding regions. These 40-ton creatures can remain underwater for as long as a half hour at a time, diving to depths of up to 656 feet on average. In addition to their vast migrations, humpback whales are also known for their magical singing and the long distances that these songs travel. Scientists are currently trying to understand the meaning behind the complex, hours-long series of moans, howls, cries, and other noises that these animals create. Their prevailing theory is that humpback whales vocalize to communicate with one another and seek mates. At one point, humpback whales came dangerously close to disappearing off the face of the planet, with some populations reduced as much as 95%. A moratorium on commercial whaling that went into effect in 1985 has helped to restore the species, but humpback whales remain threatened primarily by human activities, such as vessel strikes, entanglement in fishing gear, harassment, underwater noise, and effects on their habitat. Number 8. The Japanese Spider Crab One of the largest known arthropods, the Japanese spider crab is a marine crab species that lives in the Pacific waters near Japan, primarily off the south coast of the island of Honshu. It has the largest leg span of any arthropod, measuring up to 12.1 feet from claw to claw. The creature's body reaches as much as 16 inches wide, and the crab itself can weigh 42 pounds. Japanese spider crabs inhabit vents and holes on the ocean floor at depths between 160 and 2,000 feet, typically traveling toward the shallower end of their range during breeding season. They are omnivores who sometimes act as scavengers by eating the dead bodies of other animals that sink from above. It's difficult for fishermen to catch Japanese spider crabs due to the depths at which they live, which you'd think would bode well for the creature's population numbers. But the species is considered a culinary delicacy in some parts of Asia, and however hard it may be to hunt for them, people somehow still make it happen, to the point of threatening Japanese spider crabs due to overfishing. Number 7. Cuvier's Beaked Whale Cuvier's beaked whales, also sometimes called goose-beaked whales, are the longest and deepest diving whales on record, and they have the most extensive range of all the beaked whale species. Despite being found in most oceans and seas worldwide and ranking among the most sighted beaked whale species, these creatures are difficult to study due to their deep offshore distribution and how little time they spend at or near the surface. In 2014, scientists observed a Cuvier's beaked whale diving to 9,874 feet over the course of 2 hours and 17 minutes. 
These whales dive with maximum efficiency by exhaling nearly all the oxygen in their lungs first, making them less buoyant, better able to quickly descend, and less vulnerable to the crushing effects of increasing pressure as they travel further down. They have fully flexible rib cages, which further eases their journeys downward as they hunt for squid and deep-dwelling fish. Sperm whales also regularly dive to around 1,000 to 2,000 meters deep. Whales like this, stranded on beaches or caught by whalers, have scars in the shapes of circles. These enormous circular markings could only be made by one thing – giant squid that attack the whales as they try to stop from being eaten. Cuvier's beaked whales live for up to 60 years, typically reaching between 15 and 23 feet long and weighing between 4,000 and 6,800 pounds. Like many other cetaceans, the species is threatened mainly by hunting, vessel strikes, entanglement in fishing gear, and underwater noise. Number 6. Giant Oarfish Thought to be the inspiration behind the Loch Ness Monster and numerous other mythological sea monsters, the giant oarfish is the longest known bony fish species, reaching up to 56 feet long and weighing as much as 600 pounds. Researchers know little about this enigmatic and rarely seen species, which is thought to dwell at depths of around 3,300 feet, according to National Geographic. More often than not, humans have observed dead specimens as opposed to living ones due to the tendency for fishermen to occasionally capture giant oarfish as bycatch, as well as bizarre occurrences in which they wash up on shore. On these occasions, as well as incidents when giant oarfish appear near the water's surface, scientists believe strong currents and storms are to blame and or that the fish is distressed or dying. However frightening and large they may appear, giant oarfish are, for the most part, harmless to humans. They lack real teeth and are equipped with weaker structures called gill rakers, and they feed primarily on plankton, making them a general non-threat to us. That doesn't mean that they don't look terrifying, though. Number 5. Six-gill shark Also called cow sharks, Six-gill sharks are the largest members of the hexanchoid order, which consists of the most primitive sharks on Earth. They grow up to 20 feet long, with some estimates putting their maximum length at 26 feet. There are three six-gill shark species which have the unique trait of having six gills instead of five, like most other sharks. They are incredibly ancient, dating back to around 200 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs went extinct. These rarely spotted creatures spend most of their time in the lightless ocean depths between 700 and 3,200 feet below the water's surface. Within their habitat in the deep tropical and temperate latitudes, six-gill sharks boast the distinction of being the biggest, most dominant predators. Unlike many sharks, which are highly vulnerable to overfishing, the six-gill remains largely protected by default of its deep-sea habitat. Six-gill sharks are rare since they're not seen or caught very often, but they are thought to be abundant, and they are also strong enough to usually avoid being captured by fishing hooks and lines, marine scientist Chip Cotton explained to Mashable. Scientists struggle to study these species simply because of how deep they tend to live, and the associated difficulties that they believed would come with tagging one, including bringing a specimen up to the surface from its dark, high-pressure environment, attaching a GPS device, and setting the creature free without traumatizing it to the point of killing it in the process. One researcher, Florida State University shark scientist Dean Grubbs, captured and tagged 23 six-gills in 2005, only to discover that contrary to long-held beliefs within the scientific community, 90% of the specimens survived the ordeal and returned to life as normal afterwards. So maybe this can be done more often in the future. Number 4. Deepwater Stingray The deepwater stingray is the only member of the Plesiobatidae family. The species is typically found dwelling on the ocean floor in the Indo-Pacific region, including in the waters off South Africa, Mozambique, Australia, Japan, the Philippines, and the Hawaiian Islands, at depths between 144 and 2,230 feet. Specimens reach up to 8.9 feet long and 4.9 feet wide, weighing as much as 260 pounds. The creature's large size is thought to be an evolutionary adaptation, enabling them to feed and fend for themselves, leading to a longer lifespan than they could otherwise count on. This makes up for the deepwater stingray's tendency to bear very few young, having just one litter of between two and four offspring every year. However large, and despite having a venomous sting, they generally do not pose a threat to humans. These carnivorous deep dwellers feed primarily on small creatures within their mysterious habitat, including worms, cephalopods, small fish, lobsters, crabs, shrimp, and eels. Deepwater stingrays are most likely to use their venomous stings against predators, such as the great hammerhead shark, which is known for preying on the species. 
Number 3. Colossal Squid Found in the deep sea surrounding Antarctica, the colossal squid is the world's largest known invertebrate and the biggest squid species in terms of mass, reaching a combined body and tentacle length of up to 46 feet long and weighing as much as 1,100 pounds. It also has the largest eyes of any animal on Earth. The largest cephalopod ever recorded was a female colossal squid who was captured by a New Zealand fishing boat in February 2007 in the Ross Sea off Antarctica. At the time, the creature was near death, prompting those who captured her to take her back to New Zealand for further study. The specimen was estimated to be 32.8 feet long with a confirmed weight of 1,091 pounds. First described by British zoologist Guy Coburn Robson in 1925, colossal squids are scarcely understood due to the difficulty of accessing their habitat roughly 7,200 feet beneath the water's surface. Scientists know that colossal squids use bioluminescence, or the ability to generate their own light to attract prey. They also believe that these creatures are slow-moving ambush predators who use their eyes to detect rather than actively hunt prey, and that colossal squids are frequently preyed upon by sperm whales. Colossal squids need very little food to survive, around 1.1 ounces or 30 grams of prey daily, despite their large size. Number 2. Giant Tube Worms Giant tube worms are a species of marine invertebrate found near hydrothermal vents on the Pacific Ocean floor, where they're capable of tolerating extremely high levels of hydrogen sulfide. Their tubular bodies measure up to 1.6 inches in diameter, reaching lengths of up to 9.8 feet. Like some other creatures that I told you about, giant tube worms are known for a condition called deep sea gigantism, making them much larger than their shallow water counterparts. The species was unexpectedly discovered during a 1977 expedition to the Galapagos Rift led by geologist Jack Corliss. There were no biologists on board, as the team had only planned to study the hydrothermal vents among which giant tube worms live. This constitutes just one of several species the team found during their expedition. Giant tube worms are oddly resilient, thriving in chemical-rich, near-boiling waters in the complete absence of light at depths of over 5,000 feet. Instead of relying on sunlight for energy, since doing so is obviously not an option, they feed on bacteria that derive energy from the chemicals in the water through a process called chemosynthesis. With no mouth or digestive tract, giant tube worms receive nutrition directly from bacteria living inside their bodies, which convert the chemicals emitted from the hydrothermal vents into food. In addition to their unique feeding strategy, giant tube worms are equipped with a bright red plume, which is a specialized organ that they use for exchanging oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, and other compounds with seawater. The organ's vibrant red shade results from a high presence of hemoglobin, or blood. Without eyesight, giant tube worms rely solely on their ability to detect movement and vibrations. When threatened, they retreat into their protective tubes. The fragile vent ecosystems that these creatures live in are also home to shrimp and crab communities, which scientists believe feed off the giant tube worms' red plumes. These habitats are threatened by an unusual factor that, unlike most others on this list, is unrelated to human activity – shifts in the Earth's crust due to geothermal activity, which could cut off the supply of chemicals emitted from the vents. Scientists have already learned that when this happens, the entire ecosystem dies. Number 1. The Prickly Shark the prickly shark is one of two species hailing from the Echinorhinidae family. While it's not unheard of to spot one in the shallow waters of the Pacific, such as Monterey Bay off California, the prickly shark typically prefers the cooler waters that are found at depths between 330 and 2,130 feet. Its nocturnal lifestyle means it spends most of the day resting in deeper offshore waters and migrating to shallower areas at night, adding to the creature's elusive nature. Prickly sharks are so named for the numerous thorn-like dermal tentacles covering parts of their dark, stocky bodies. They grow up to 13.1 feet long and travel throughout their habitat at a slow pace, likely using suction to capture their prey, which consists of bony and cartilaginous fish as well as cephalopods. While the species has little to no market value, it is potentially threatened by expanding commercial deep-water fisheries. The International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN, currently categorizes the prickly shark as data deficient, meaning not enough is known about its numbers to accurately assess its conservation status. Prickly sharks do not pose a threat to humans, with most specimens either tolerating human interaction or fleeing upon sight. Thanks for watching! Which animal was your favorite? What other mysterious habitats would you like to learn about? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!